This is the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Friday, the 18th of July. I'm James Spann. Record low maximum temperatures today. Just remarkable with a lot of rain falling. Uh, over the weekend, conditions gradually improve if you like drier, hotter weather. Uh, let's go in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon, starting with a view coming from Hamilton High School. Soaking rain falling, and they are at 68 degrees at 2.30 this afternoon. Unbelievable. We ought to be in the low 90s. Very similar setup at Fayette, rain falling there. And that's a look at downtown Haleyville in Winston County. It's a cool day, and I would imagine some people are probably wearing jackets. Uh, in fact, they're only at 64. Uh, there's the radar that was at 252. Rain is widespread over much of the state. Some of the heaviest rain at that point falling up in the northwestern part of the state and also between Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. All of that is moving east. And there's a look at those record-breaking numbers. You know, we often talk about record lows. Well, today we had record low highs, if that makes any sense. Record low maximums. Uh, Birmingham at 75. The former record low maximum to date, 79, set way back in 1906. Uh, bottom line is this is the coolest July 18th on record around here. And you can see that pocket of cool air across the deep south. Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, many communities in there only in the 60s. The hot weather is in the west, where there's a ridge in place out there. Up on the watch warning map, still a few pockets where there are flash flood watches and warnings west of the state, but no issues here. We do note there is a slight risk of severe storms through tonight from about uh, Demopolis and Camden uh, in west Alabama, then down into south Mississippi and southeast Louisiana, a very marginal type threat down there. Uh, the air is pretty stable. This is the additional rain expected for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Heavier numbers down south in the Gulf Coast. Up this way, totals about one inch. But if you're beachbound, don't panic when you see that. Uh, uh, they'll have a pretty good bit of rain around uh, today and tomorrow, but if conditions improve after that Sunday into much of next week. And the tropics in the Atlantic Basin are still very, very quiet. We'll check the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. At 500 millibars, this is the 12Z run. Still got broad troughing here. And again, there's nothing to sweep the moisture out of here. So we think tomorrow will be a mostly cloudy day. Showers and storms are still possible, but it's not going to be the widespread soaking all day stuff like we've had today. Uh, this is the high res NAM at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, suggesting maybe some uh, heavy rain falling south and east of Birmingham and up in the Tennessee Valley. But the sun might peak out at times tomorrow, but still a good chance of rain at times. So if you have something planned outdoors, be aware of that. Then for Sunday, the dynamic support weakens, and accordingly, the coverage of the showers and storms will lessen. Uh, there'll be some out there, but they'll be more scattered in nature, and the sun should be out at times on Sunday. And we get back into the upper 80s. This is Monday of next week, pretty much the same deal, a chance of scattered showers and storms, some sun during the day with a high approaching 90. And here's Tuesday. That's the deal, a big upper high, a nasty heat bubble over Colorado and New Mexico. And uh, around here, the winds aloft are light and variable, and again, that just looks like we have moist air but not much of a trigger. So a mixture of clouds and sunshine, a few spots getting a passing shower or storm. Highs, probably upper 80s. Same thing Wednesday. And then Thursday of next week, a surface boundary approaching from the north. We'll see if that maybe enhances the chance of showers at that point. And this is a week from today, uh, Friday, the 25th of July. Still got the upper high over the four corners in the southwest United States, another trough over the east coast. And that surface front stalls out somewhere around here, around Interstate 20. So, again, uh, you know how far south the dry air goes, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll check the end of the forecast, August 3rd. And really, it's the same story. <laughs> You've got a, a heat bubble in the southwest. Seems like that's going to be where the really hot weather is going to be for the next 15 days. Kind of a weakness in here. And again, the chance of scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video for me will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the updates here tomorrow. And Sunday, catch us can this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.